Uh, I'm Damien Bort. I'm heading the Deep Learning Competence Center at the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence at DFKI, the largest AI research center in the world. And uh, we're working on multiple topics with respect to deep learning, different domains, different industries. And it's a very exciting time currently. The collaboration with NVIDIA is great. Um, if you think about how deep learning evolved uh, from 2012, uh, one major component was accelerated learning and was the capability to really process this huge amount of data to fit the models, to train the network. So the collaboration with NVIDIA is essential in building better methods and better approaches for deep learning, which also means having deeper networks that are able to perform better with different tasks. We're very excited to receive the DGX1 in the collaboration with NVIDIA, the uh, NVIDIA AI Lab. And our aim is really to use this huge computational power to figure out which components are responsible for which performance gains, to really understand the deep learning landscape with respect to types of deep neural networks, uh, convolution neural networks, recurrent neural networks, and for example, the very exciting area about generative adversarial networks. With respect to this, we're very much interested in combining those different types of networks and doing fusion on different methods and different types of model signals, multimodal sensor fusion, which helps then to combine not only vision signals, but also audio signals and sensor signals. Think about, for example, a self-driving car. It's a multi-sensor network, and up to now, it's very difficult to combine it together. And we hope with this machine that we'll figure out ways of fusing the signals such that we can have one decision at the end with multiple inputs. The DJX1 allows us to do two things. First of all, we will be able to train much faster than before, which means we can try out more things and we can really uh, shorten the time between an idea and the realization of this idea. That's very important. The second thing is, however, uh, maybe even more important, more memory, which allows us to train deeper networks, stronger networks, and allows us really to have more connections. So this together will allow us to provide much quicker insights about this combination of different layers and different networks work together in the different setups how we perceive the environment. And this is really great because uh, it's, it's, it's an exciting time and everybody is doing great research so uh, we have to also be on this cutting edge. A very important component, so if I think about deep learning and I think about how deep learning is not only one industry but really disrupting every single industry, um, it's really great that we have a lot of industrial applications, a lot of commercial applications, but what is really important personally for myself is the use of artificial intelligence for good, for social good. So there are a lot of opportunities and a lot of potential where we can use AI and accelerated learning for investigating how the world is changing, the surface of the planet, satellite image analysis with respect to climate change, water level monitoring, droughts, etc. We might be able to investigate how, for example, opinion is mined from the social streams, how people think about particular topics. And this together allows us to much better analyze the so-called sustainable development goals, for example. They were signed last fall and are aiming to measure things that are previously unmeasured to provide a kind of a radar for how human humanity is evolving towards 2030. And this is really exciting. Uh, and we should put more emphasis on this kind of AI for good applications beside all the other great uh, developments that we see in this area.